love y'all weebly styles here. And if you love horror slashes or anything to do with the Halloween season, you come to the right channel. Make sure you smash that like button, share to your friends, comment, hit that bell so you get notified anytime that I post. Back to the channel, and Halloween Ends just came out. What a movie. Make sure you stay tuned for my review of that later on. But today, we're taking a turn, changing things up a bit. We're going to start with a new franchise, and that is Child's Play. But we're only going to be ranking the movies today. Let's start off with number seven, and that is Seed of Chucky. We know that. I don't even know why I'm wasting my time talking about this movie. This movie was stupid. They tried too much for the comedy, really. They really tried. I'll give my stars to Brad Dorf for, you know, being an amazing Chucky as always. But this movie just did it too much with the kills, the way they look, the dolls. Like, it just wasn't doing it for me. Like, I don't know. It just was not good. We all know that Chucky and Tiffany find out they have a son, Glenn slash Glenda, and they want to try to move their bodies into Redman and Jennifer Tilly. But that doesn't happen because so much chaos is going on, and Chucky's like, you know what? This. I'm going to stay a doll less complicated. I gotta worry about getting old, sick, none of that junk. So let's do it. But then Tiffany takes the kids and leaves and, you know, as all Shining references, I can't think of a thing to say. Fuck it. Not terrible, but it was terrible to the point where Curse got sent straight to DVD and sold a cult. But it is what it is. Coming up next on our list is Child's Play 3. It came out in 1991. Now this movie depicts Andy Barkley, who is now 16 year old, and he's gotta go to Kent Military School because of all the craziness that happened in the previous two films, now he has to figure out how to be a man. A lot of crazy deaths going around. Chuck is running around making a mess. This man takes pellets, real guns, bullets, and he puts them into the real ones. Take the paint out, puts the real bullets in there. Like the kid Tyler, uh, he was cool and whatnot, you know what I mean, Chucky tried to get into his body, he was like, oh, you're younger, you're easier, I don't have to worry about Andy anymore, and he's like, oh, I gotta protect you, and then, you know, all this craziness happens and whatnot, and the only real character I like in here is the Silver, because she shows woman power, you know, woman power, all that jazz, Chucky was just kind of doing his own thing in this movie, so, you know, that's why it ranks so low on this list. Next up on the list is The Cult of Chucky. Now, the reason this one is number five is because... Uh, I don't really care about the animatronics and the look of Chucky in this movie. Kind of look too cheesy to me in a way. But Chucky's performance in the movie, oh, Brad Dorf is amazing. Aren't you the crazy bitch I talked to last night on the phone? Especially the cult. When the cult comes to life, this scene is so fucking hilarious. He made the funniest face when I drilled him. Did you see the steam when I sliced open his guts? I never felt so alive! Yeah, well, you've been alive for like two minutes. <laughs> Welcome to the cult, pal. I don't know how much better you can't get with that. Like, it's just so fun. Fun scene, like, boy, did they kill the man. They killed the nurse. It was just so funny. But Andy Barkley comes, you know, trying to kill Chucky or whatnot. Because Chucky tried to come kill him. And, you know, Andy's now a grown up. He's not stupid. And then Neek is in the hospital, you know, crazy and you know, whatnot. It's creepy doctor. Chucky says this line. Holy shit. <laughs> and they call me sick? Uh, it's just a lot of craziness in this movie. The movie's kind of fun, that's why I enjoy it. I just don't really care for how Chucky looks in this movie. But other than that, it's a fun movie. Watch it. Next up on the list, and which probably might should rank higher, but is not going to, is Child's Play 2. Um, this one depicts Andy, now in a foster home. He needs his foster sister Kyle. You know, the dad and mom are just kind of weird, like they really don't care. Like, how do you not see him walking up in there? Like, I got him right there! Come on now. But yeah, um, Chucky goes to school with Andy, you know, kills the teacher with a yardstick. You know, he trips Phil, cracks his neck, kills Joanne, and all that jazz. Then they end up in one of the best chase sequences in the whole franchise, in the toy factory. Um, I don't know why there's only one worker there, but I mean, you guys, you see, you know. Other than that, it's like, what is going on? I can't really tell you. I don't really know, but we're just going to go with that, okay? Oh, wait. Chucky gets blown to bits, I forgot, they put an air hose in his mouth. Next up on the list is Curse of Chucky. Came out in 2013. Now we kind of see a hard reboot after that terror that was seed. Ah, 
another one. Take a bath after that one. Um, yeah. So Chucky's back, and we find out that he kills his lost long lover. You feel me? Um, Sarah Pierce. She has a daughter, Nico, who we find out later on was paralyzed because Chucky is a crazy. And you know, took a knife, stabbed her and stuff again, paralyzed Nico. And we see the night that he's apprehended. Hit it and it all kinds of ties together so it's kind of cool post credit scene we see um chucky actually gets alice he puts the spell on her and then you know he actually is finally able to transfer after 30 years 25 whatever you call it took too long after that um there's another post credit scene with andy barkley returning since part two um and you know treasure tried to kill him and that didn't work because he said play with this andy Number two on my list is the original Child's Play. Now people be like, oh, without the original, you wouldn't get the sequels. I wouldn't give a f because the original gave me the sequel that is number one. So stay tuned for that one. Other than that, we see Charles Lee Ray gunned down. Before he can die, he transfers his soul with this spell. Give me the power, I beg of you! After this, now we see six-year-old Andy Barkley and... Karen Barkley trying to um, make it happen, you know what I'm saying? Chucky comes to life, you know, after um, knocking out uh, Aunt Maggie through that window, you know what I'm saying? She went flying and whatnot. Uh, Chucky has some dust on his feet, and I don't know, um, cops are stupid, you know. Mike Norris, uh, the one that shot Chucky, didn't believe he was alive until, you know, he tried to kill him. And then this scream he came out with is funny. I don't care. It is funny as shit. Funny. Ah, that's funny. Ooh, man. But other than that, it's like, ah. Chucky just goes crazy with that with his jump scares and all that. It's just a real fun cold classic. It's, it's the original. It's the one that started it all. And it's just such a fun movie to watch. So just go watch it. It's so fun. Coming down to our number one spot is none other than Bride of Chucky. Came out in 1998. This movie has so many fucking cult classic references. It shows Jason, Freddy, and Michael at the beginning. Come on now. Y'all know I was going to give y'all good stuff with this one. This one's just so crazy. All the shit that Chucky says. So pretty much, Chucky comes back to life. His old lover, Tiffany, came out of the box. Slid a cop throat. Took him. Stitched him back together with doll pieces. Did a voodoo spell just to say what a crop just for that boy to come back. We see she got her own lover, but she don't want to do it with him. You know what I'm saying? She don't like it. She like, you know, I'll kill anybody, but I don't see with somebody I love. That's real. Keep the truth to appear to the heart. You feel what I'm saying? Moving on, boom. So, all right? Chuck come at life. Says the best line in the whole movie. Maybe one of the best. Lines. It ain't the size that counts, asshole. It's what you do with it. Off this man. Man dies after that. It's just everybody's so fun in there. The only thing I have a problem with is Jade and Jesse because they do not look like fucking teenagers. Come on now, stop playing with me. I know it's 98, but come on now, stop playing with me. That ain't real. Come on, bro. Uh, Chucky goes on to with a killing spree and Tiffany. They take turns and whatnot with some callbacks from the TV show. But we'll catch that later in another future video. Other than that, this movie is just such a fun ride. So many fun scenes and clips. Enjoy it. Ride of Chucky is the foundation of that. Because it's also the first one I ever watched growing up. And I have it on VHS. So, there's that. Yay. But dying is such a bitch. Well guys, that's my list. If you're new to the channel, like I said, if you like horror, slash, or anything to do with the Halloween series, then you come to the right channel. Make sure you smash the like button, leave a comment, share this to your friends, and hit that bell so you get notified anytime I post. My name is Willie B. Styles, and I'll see you in another one. Shake on.